I live in the Redmond area, east side Seattle, and we have a gas station here that consistently has gas that's 10, 20 cents below a lot of other gas stations. And I think I know why the price of gas was that much lower at that gas station. The station is not very conveniently located. I mean, the location in terms of where it is in the city is not bad. The problem has to do with the geography of the roads going in and out of that gas station. If you're driving from Redmond into Seattle and you pull into that gas station and then you want to continue to Seattle, you can't make a left turn out of the station and, and it, it, it can get a little bit convoluted. Um, similarly on the way back as well, it's hard to get in, hard to get out. And I remember thinking, God, who would want to do that? It made me wonder what the roads look like when they open the gas station. I can't imagine seeing conditions like that and, one, and saying, oh, that's a great place to open a gas station, right? Whatever the case is, I used to get gas there a lot. If I remember correctly, there was a time when it was even more discounted relative to uh, other gas stations. It used to be 30, 40 cents better, if I remember correctly. Now, two months ago when Russia first invaded Ukraine, uh, obviously uh, we all conserved gas, and I thought, oh, let's go there. And I drove past that station, like, wow, they're, they're just the same as everybody else. I mean, I expected to pay more than I paid months ago at the same gas station, but now they're not that much discounted relative to other gas stations. Now, why? Because when gas was only $2 a gallon, uh, people didn't have the patience to put up with getting in and out of that gas station. Now that gas is four, five, six dollars. The, the the economics of spending time to to save a few cents has kind of shifted, right? People have less time uh, or less money. They did, by comparison, they have a little bit more time, and so things have kind of shifted a little bit. So all these articles I keep reading about what to do in response to inflation. There's a lot of sacrifices, right? Uh, how, to, how to combine your trips, maybe carpool with somebody. I think the time to conserve is before a crisis has happened, right? And I, I feel a little bit vindicated because years ago, years ago when I did extreme things to conserve money or conserve other resources, People thought, oh, that's not worth the time. Look at what you're doing today. Today. Right? 